Welcome back everyone. My name is Joel Feld and today's topic is how to reset your Apple ID password. It's gonna be fun, said no one ever. Here we go. There could be a variety of reasons why you need to reset or why you want to reset your Apple ID password. Maybe you're just updating your passwords to be more secure. Maybe your Apple ID account is locked out, or maybe you think someone knows your password and you wanna change it. So there's multiple ways of how to change your Apple ID password. And I wanna walk through the steps of how to change it on the computer and then how to change it on the iPhone as well as the iPad. Now granted the iPhone and iPad are gonna be identical, so I'm just gonna show the iPhone. So we're gonna cover a bit of those scenarios and I have a little cheat sheet on my desktop here. We're gonna recover how to reset your password from a Mac, how to reset your Apple ID password from an iPhone and iPad, assuming you know your current password, how to reset your Apple ID signing into a new device, using someone else's device, using a device at the Apple store. And if none of these options work, I would say that you're totally <laughs> but uh, you never know. Apple may be able to help you with the account recovery process. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Now the first two options are gonna be if you already know your Apple ID password, and this would be if you just wanna make it more secure, or maybe you think someone knows your password and you just wanna change it. So starting on the Mac, what we would do is go up to the Apple in the top left menu bar, choose system settings, and we would go to our Apple ID in the top left here. When I select that, notice this is the email address here, joel.feld at icloud.com. This is the Apple ID that I'm using that I wanna reset the password for. So what I'm gonna do is choose sign in and security. And this is where it gives me all of the choices to turn on two-factor authentication or add another email address or a trusted device. And if you're not familiar with two-factor authentication or trusted devices, check out this video below because it's extremely helpful for knowing and securing devices associated with your account if you get locked out. And I would highly encourage you to know how this works. Now, when we go to the settings here, notice under the password, it shows last changed August 3rd, 2023, and I can click on change password here. Now, when I do that, it's gonna first prompt me for the computer password. So I'm gonna type in the password for this computer account. And then it says, okay, well, what do you want your new password to be? Notice here it says your password must be at least eight characters, include a number, an uppercase letter, and a lowercase letter. Make sure that your password is secure and something that is not easily guessable. Apple does have a nice support article that I'll link down below. Let me pull that up here. It's about security and Apple ID. So this just gives you helpful hints about their security. And I'll link this down in the description so you have it for reference. But what we're gonna do is, I'll go back to system settings here. I hate generating passwords or coming up with ideas with passwords because I have so many. So I'm a huge fan of iCloud keychain passwords. I do have a video that I will link here down below. It's slightly older. It doesn't include any of the new pass key features, but check this video out if you're interested in password management and creating passwords that are very, very secure. With that being said, I'm actually gonna use Safari to generate a password for me to make my life easier. So I'm gonna click back on Safari here. We're going to go to the settings of Safari. I'm gonna choose passwords here at the top. Use Touch ID on the laptop to get me into my passwords. This is where iCloud stores all of your keychain passwords. And all I'm gonna do is click on the plus sign here, click on new password and I'm gonna say create strong password. And then it gives me this nice, really super secure password. And I can click on this again and it's gonna just keep on generating ones for me. Now I'm just gonna choose this random one here. I'm gonna copy it. We're gonna choose cancel because I'm not gonna have it save in here because I'm gonna wipe it after I'm done anyways. But I wanna paste this someplace. So I'm gonna go back to my sticky note and I'm just gonna go here and paste it so I have it for reference. I'm gonna jump back to system settings. Let's close out of Safari here. I'm gonna paste in that password under the new password and verify and choose change. Now, when I do that, notice it says sign out other devices using your Apple ID. If you think someone might know your password, you can force all of your other devices and websites to sign out. So that's kind of nice. If you are worried about someone knowing your password, they may have a phone. So for example, I have a phone here that's using the same account. If I chose don't sign out, 
that new password is gonna sync over to this device without me doing anything. So I would recommend that if you are pretty confident that no one knows your password, then choose don't sign out. But if you think someone may know your password and you wanna make sure that all of your devices are signed out, go ahead and click sign out. So now what happens is notice on my phone, it now is prompting me saying, hey, I don't know your password anymore. You better uh, put that in there so that you can verify that it's you. So on my phone here, I'm gonna touch settings and we're gonna type in this password here. So T, oh. And this is the double-edged sword of all of these long, complex passwords. They are a pain to type in. T-I-W-X. Hopefully I typed that in correctly. So we're gonna choose sign in in the top right. Nope, I didn't. Here we go again, stand by. All right, round two, here we go, sign in. And did I type it in successfully? Yes, I did. That prompt goes away. But now it's saying, hey, you typed your password in. I need to verify that this is you. So notice what it does is it sends a two-factor authentication verification code to a trusted device, which is this Mac. So I can touch allow here on the Mac and type in this code and then everything will be great. But if I don't have a trusted device, I'll say didn't get a verification code, and then I have the option to either send a new code, which will do the same exact thing on the Mac, but if I don't have that, it's kind of useless, or I can choose text a code to the telephone number, which I will do instead. So I will touch that. It will automatically text me. Notice the, the text popped up at the top. It automatically plugged in that code and now it verified that I truly am the owner of this Apple ID and I can reset the password. Now notice on the computer here in the top right, because I re-signed in, it says, hey, an iPhone now has access to your iMessage. If you don't recognize this device, you can remove it in the system settings. So I'm gonna close out of this notification prompt. I'm gonna choose done here on the computer. And now my password is changed. Notice it says last change December 8th, 2023. And now I can go about my business. So that's how you change your password for your Apple ID starting from a Mac, assuming that you know your password and assuming that you have a trusted device with you. So let's do the same thing on the phone here. I'm gonna to touch back on settings in the top left because you'll notice one other thing that may happen when you reset your password for your Apple ID. Notice at the top, it says some iCloud data isn't syncing. Well, because we just changed our password, it wants to then make sure again and verify that our account is syncing and that we have the correct credentials. And again, it's just more security layers. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose resume data sync. When I do that, it wants to verify the iPhone passcode, so I will type that in. And then it wants me to verify the password on my computer that I changed that password from. So I'm gonna type that in as well. Then I'm gonna go ahead and choose done. Now everything is legit and good on the phone. So now let's go to the next scenario of resetting the Apple ID password on an iPhone or iPad, assuming you know the password. So let's take a step back, We're gonna choose settings. We're gonna go to our Apple ID at the top. We're gonna touch sign in and security. And then that second option below the email address and phone numbers, we have change password. And then just like the computer where it prompted us for the computer password, on the phone it says, hey, before you change this password, I need to know what the passcode is on your iPhone. So we'll type that in and enter a new password. The trick that I use to generate a, a strong password on Safari on the computer, you can kind of do the same thing here, but because I'm already in the settings, you would want to do it first. So if I touch cancel here, let's take a step back. We're gonna go back to the main screen of settings. We're gonna go down to passwords. It's gonna use my face ID to unlock. And I'm gonna to touch the plus sign in the top right. We're gonna choose new password. And here it gives me this nice, crazy, long, complex password. So I'm gonna select that. We're gonna choose copy. And then I'm gonna cancel out of this. I always like to paste that someplace just so that I have it for reference. So I'm gonna go into the notes here and create a new note and we're just gonna paste that password there. That way I know I have it someplace if something weird happens when I'm changing the password for the Apple ID. Let's exit out of here now. Let's go back to settings. We're gonna scroll all the way to the top, touch my Apple ID, choose sign in and security, touch change password. 
type in the passcode for my iPhone and we are going to paste that password that was generated from iCloud Keychain Passwords. And I'm gonna to touch change on the top right. Notice it gives us the same exact option. Do you wanna sign out of other devices or don't sign out? Now, if I chose sign out of other devices, it's gonna do the same exact thing it did on the iPhone, but on the computer or any other device that I'm using this Apple ID with. So for now, I'm gonna go ahead and choose don't sign out. And now that password is changed. So if I go back, there's no other notification that I need to do. Notice on the computer here, everything is fine. Everything is gonna work as expected. If I went out to Safari and did appleid.apple.com and signed in, we're gonna use a different, well, we're gonna use that account, but the password has changed. So we're gonna continue with password. And if I did what was saved here, it's not gonna work because they just changed it. But here's something that's really cool. Did you know that if you have two Apple devices using the same Apple ID, if you copy something on your phone, you can actually paste it on the computer? So let's see how that works. If I go into the notes here, let's just go back, make sure that this password is copied. No, I don't wanna change the word. There we go, let's select it. We're gonna choose copy. Notice if I come to the computer here, if I do Command V to paste, Notice it pasted just like that. How cool is that? So I digress. Uh, back to putting in the password here. We can sign in and it will prompt us for two-factor authentication. So I'm gonna type in this code, 383463, choose done. And now we're in my Apple ID. So that is how we change the password either on our Mac or our iPhone, assuming that we know the password and having a trusted device, super important. So now the next option that you have, you can actually reset your Apple ID password during the setup of a brand new Apple device. So let's go ahead and look at how that works. So this method, I'm gonna set up this brand new iPad and go through the steps to reset our Apple ID. So we're at the very first screen here, I'm gonna choose English, we're gonna select United States, the appearance, uh, it doesn't really matter, do continue. I don't wanna do quick start. I'm not looking to restore this device by something nearby. We're just going through the option to reset our password. So I'm gonna do set up with another device. We're gonna scroll down, find our Wi-Fi, type in the password. I'll choose continue for the data and privacy. I'm not gonna set this up for anyone else. I'm setting it up for myself, so I'm gonna select that. I don't care about Touch ID at the moment, so we're gonna do that later. Yes, I'm sure, don't use. Create a passcode, and then it says, okay, do you wanna restore from an iCloud? Do you wanna transfer from another iPad? Do you wanna set up from a Mac or PC from Android? I'm just gonna choose don't transfer anything and this is the Apple ID screen where I want to go. Now, you could probably access this from the iCloud backup also because it gives you the same choice. I just typically go here because this actually gives you multiple accounts where you can sign into two different Apple IDs, one for your iCloud as well as one for your media and purchases subscriptions. And then the next step would be to forgot password or don't have Apple ID. So I'm gonna click on this link here and I'm gonna choose forgot password or Apple ID it's saying, okay, what is the Apple ID that you forgot the password for? And we need to type that in. So I'm gonna type in joel.feld at icloud.com. We're gonna choose continue. So now it says, okay, I can help you reset it, but you need a trusted device. You need another device that is linked with this Apple ID so that I can verify that you are a legitimate person trying to change the Apple ID password. And it's so important to know the two-factor authentication and add and understand how trusted devices work. So I'm gonna type in the cell phone number for this phone here, which is 763-347-9916. And if you don't have this phone with you, that's where we're gonna do some of those scenarios as well. But this is assuming that you don't know the password, but you have a trusted device with you. So I'm gonna choose continue. And then notice it says continue on your other Apple devices. The easiest and fastest way to reset your password is by using an Apple device that is signed in with your account. So look for the notification. So notice that prompt that popped up on my iPhone, reset your password. I can either allow or don't allow. 
Now on the iPad, it says either done or can't get access to these Apple devices. If I clicked can't get your Apple devices, it's just going to say, okay, if you didn't get that prompt, it's going to send a text message to the trusted uh, number that's associated with the cell phone. And if you can't use that phone number for whatever reason, then it says, all right, we're gonna start account recovery with Apple. And that's where it can take multiple days, sometimes weeks, depending on the information that you provide to Apple. And they'll send you an email address and they'll say, can you confirm your address? Can you confirm this email? Can you confirm this phone number? If you can't confirm any of the information they give you, you're not getting into that account, unfortunately. So that's why these trusted devices and having a, a trusted devices associated with your Apple ID is so important. So on the iPad here, let's take a step back. I'm gonna choose cancel and I'm gonna go back one step in the top left. And on my phone here, I'm gonna choose allow. And what it does is it brings me into the Apple ID settings on the phone. Again, it says, all right, if you're gonna change this password, I need to verify that you know the passcode for this iPhone. So I'm gonna type that in. And then it gives us an option to reset the password. Now I'm not gonna reset the password here because we've already seen how that works. It's no different from what we did before. You reset the password, choose continue. You'll get prompted, do you wanna sign out of the other devices or not? You can say no and then everything as well. Now instead of typing the password in here, let's choose cancel. Let's go back to the, the iPad here and choose can't get your Apple devices and then we'll have it send us a text message. So I'm gonna do send code to this trusted device. So it's going to send a text message to this phone. Notice at the top here, I'll touch that, bring that notification down. So now the code is 62, oops, 620808. It's verifying on the iPad. It's prompting me, okay, type in the passcode for my iPhone. So I'll type that in. So then on my iPad here, I can choose a new password. Type in a new password, do continue. Choose different password. Okay, I can't use my normal password that I use for random things. Notice it says you must choose a new password that you haven't used in the past year. Okay, I'll do something different. Let's delete all of this. I'll do continue. Weak or reused password. Okay, again, see this is why I don't make up my own passwords because I'm terrible at making up passwords and it's just way easier for iCloud to do it. So I'm gonna choose okay one more time. Ah, let's combine both of the passwords that I just did. All right, do continue. If this doesn't work, I, I, I'm I done. All right, cool. So now on the iPad, it says the password has been changed. I'll do continue. So now it's signing in. Yes, we'll agree to the terms and conditions. I'll type in the passcode for my iPhone. There's so many steps to verify that you are the person that owns this device. It's double-edged sword. Love it and hate it all at the same time. This process would be identical if you did it on a computer and or an iPhone as well going through that setup. So for the iPad, yes, we'll do continue. And it's just pulling over information from how I had it on my old iPad. Set up later in settings, I don't need cellular. Notice on my computer over here, it popped up the notification saying this device has been added to your Apple ID account. Set up later, yep, set up later, get started. So now if I go to the settings here, I have my Apple ID and sign in security and I'm back to square one. Notice on my phone here, another notification, device added to your account, yes. Go ahead, choose okay and so on and so forth. That's how you reset your Apple ID password when you set up a new device, but still you need access from a trusted device on your account, otherwise you will run into issues. Now that we've changed that Apple ID on the iPad, you'll notice a few other notifications popped up on my computer here. Device has been added like we saw before. I can close that out. Uh, there's another one, if I swipe to the right, notice reset password, use this Mac to reset your Apple ID password. And you'll notice down here in the bottom, there's a little notification in system settings. If I click that, notice how before on the iPhone, it said the iCloud data isn't syncing. So if I click this, it's essentially doing the same exact process. Because I changed it on the iPad, I wanna make sure that I resume my syncing in all of my devices. Otherwise, photos, contacts, calendars, some information may not sync as expected because we changed that Apple ID password. 
So when I click on a resume data sync, it's prompting me, okay, the password you use to unlock this Mac, it wants me to type in the computer password. I will type that in to verify that it's me. Wait a moment. So now we're back to square one. Are we having fun yet? I, Apple IDs, yeah. Grab a drink if you need to. So that was how to reset your Apple ID when you're setting up a new Apple device. The next option that you have is to use someone else's iOS device to help you reset your own Apple ID on your iOS device. Now this only works with iPhones or iPads. It doesn't work with the computer and you'll see what I mean in a second. There's a lot of users that only have an iPhone and this is probably the best way for them to reset their Apple ID if they forget it. So this is how the scenario would work. On this iPhone, I forgot the password. I don't know what it is. I need to reset it. So I can use anyone else's iPhone or iPad to help me reset the Apple ID. So it could be a stranger, it could be someone in your family, a friend, a relative, anyone. As long as they have an iPhone, this is what you need to do. On the person's phone that is helping you reset, you would open up Safari and you would go to iforgot.apple.com and down at the bottom there's this reset password. Now when I touch that, notice it's gonna say reset Joel Feld's learn with Joel at iCloud.com password or use this iPhone to help someone else reset their password. Well, I'm not trying to reset the password with this learn with Joel account. I need to reset the password for the Joel.Feld account. So notice down at the bottom, it says reset my password or help someone else. Now notice if I did the same exact thing on the computer, if I go to iForgot.Apple.com and click reset, I don't get that same message that I do on the phone here. If I do it on the iPad, we'll go to iForgot.Apple.com, touch reset, notice same thing. Now this iPad is already signed in with the Joel.Feld, but I wanted to show that any iOS device gives you a different prompt when you go to this website than a computer does. We'll come back to the phone here and this is what we would do. I would say, I wanna help someone else. So I'm gonna choose this option and it's going to say, okay, well, what is their Apple ID that they're trying to reset? So I'm gonna type in joel.feld at icloud.com, do continue. Now this is also assuming that if this is your only Apple device, chances are it's an iPhone and chances are you have a cell phone number associated, which means it most likely is a trusted device. So notice here it says, enter the trusted phone number to continue. So I'm gonna type in 763-347-9916. I'll type in the phone number. So now you'll notice on my phone, it got that prompt saying, hey, do you wanna reset the password? And I can either allow that or I cannot allow that. And back on this phone, it says, continue on your other Apple device. The easiest and fastest way to reset your password is by using an Apple device that is signed in with your account. Because remember, just because you forgot your password doesn't mean that it signs you out of it. That's why it got this notification prompt. Now notice down at the bottom, I can either choose done or it gives me an option that says can't get to your Apple devices. Well, if I touch that bottom option, it then says, okay, we'll use your trusted phone number and I can send a text message instead of this notification prompt. Or if I choose can't use this number, it's gonna prompt the screen with start account recovery, which then you have to talk to Apple support. They have to verify a few more things and that process can take a lot longer. And we'll look at that later in this video too. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and choose cancel on this phone and I'm going to touch allow on this phone and notice it wants me to verify my iPhone password. So I'll type that in and then I'm prompted to create a new password. Now let me cancel this and I'll show you how the text message works. If I go back to this phone here, this is where I'll say send code to that telephone number and I should get a text message on this phone and there it is. I'll touch the notification. So 622162. So now on this phone here, it's saying, what is the iPhone passcode for this phone that I want to reset the Apple ID on? So I will type that in. And then on this phone, it will give me the option to reset the password for this Apple ID. So there's actually 
two different ways. Depending if you send that notification, it's gonna reset it on the, your device itself. But if you do the text message, it's gonna prompt you to reset the password on the person's phone that you're borrowing. So now at this point, you would type in a brand new password, touch continue. It's gonna say, do you wanna sign all of your other devices out or keep them signed in? You can choose whichever you would want. And then remember from the previous prompts, it will probably have you re-enter the passcodes and the passwords just to resync all of your iCloud data amongst your devices. So for that being said, I'm gonna to touch cancel on the top left and we're back to where we started. Now there's another utility that Apple has that allows you to reset your Apple ID password, not only for yourself, but again, in this scenario to help someone else. So there's an Apple support app and I'll leave the link down below. I don't think it's on this phone here. So let me do a quick search, Apple support. It is a free app. Here it is, Apple support. It's a blue box with a white Apple logo. Let me download it quick here. All right, so I'm gonna to touch open. Welcome to Apple support, do continue. Okay, location. Now, when you do this on your phone, it's actually a really nice application if you've never used this before. It ties all of your Apple products into this main app so that you can get support for each product. You can check serial numbers and all of that good stuff. So notice here, you have support down at the bottom, you have locations, you have activity. We're gonna to touch back on support. And across the top, we have my devices that I can see all of the devices that are associated with this learn with Joel at iCloud.com account. But what we're looking for is reset password. So when I touch reset password, again, it prompts up the same exact menu that we saw when we went to iForgot.Apple.com. And so naturally we would choose help someone else, type in the joel.feld at iCloud.com, continue, type in the phone number, and we're literally back to the same exact steps that we were just a moment ago by going to iForgot.Apple.com. So I'm just gonna ignore all of these prompts here. We're gonna choose done, and that is that. Now the last option to be able to reset your Apple ID, because let's, let's say that you don't have anyone around you that you can use their iPhone or iPad. You can always go into an Apple store and use one of their iPhones or iPads to accomplish the same task. So let's go ahead on the support app here. I'm gonna choose locations and I'm gonna find the closest Apple store here. Let's pull this up and let's go to the Apple store and reset our Apple ID password there. So here you can pretty much use any iPhone that they have on display. We're gonna open up Safari and go to iForgot.Apple.com. We will then go ahead and choose reset password and choose help someone else. This is where you'll type in the Apple ID associated to the one you're trying to reset and then follow it up with the telephone number of that trusted device. We should see a notification prompt on your phone. Once we touch allow, we will then need to verify our iPhone passcode. So we'll type that in. And now we will be able to reset our password. Now I'm gonna cancel out of this. We're gonna go back. We're gonna say, can't get to your Apple devices. So I'm gonna send a text message instead. And then this will send a verification code to my phone. We'll type in that 921580. And then on the iPhone at the Apple store, we'll type in the passcode. And then we can reset the password using Apple's iPhone instead of the phone that we brought. The other option, they do have the Apple support app, just like we previously saw. So we'll open up the app. We'll find the option to reset password, choose help someone else. And then we type in the Apple ID and we're back to square one. Well, that was a fun trip to the Apple store. As you can see, it's very similar, if not identical to using the iForgot.Apple.com and or the Apple support app on a friend's phone, something like that. It's just, you're going to an Apple store. I guess maybe you could probably go to Best Buy or Target or any place that has an iOS device. But regardless, Apple store, for sure you can do that. Now, the last thing I wanna talk about is if you don't have a trusted device, if you don't have your cell phone with the number to get a text message or to get a verification code, if you're completely out of the water trying to get your Apple ID squared away. 
So let's walk through that scenario of how we get to that point. So I'm gonna start on the computer and I'm going to go to just iforgot.apple.com and you can do this on the phone as well. So I'm gonna choose reset password here. I'm gonna type in my Apple ID. And then if you don't know your phone number here, that's associated with your Apple ID, you're, you're pretty much out of luck. You can contact Apple and I do have a, there's a, a link that you can go to, getsupport.apple.com and you can message, email, or chat with them. But if you don't know your telephone number that's associated with your Apple ID, then you're pretty much, you're gonna have a hard time resetting it. Just be aware of that. So I'm gonna type in the phone number associated, continue, because this could be the scenario where I don't have my phone. Maybe I lost my phone and I only have a computer. So you'll notice that when I'm on a computer, it says, okay, use another Apple device to reset your password. The first option says reset your password while signing in to a new device. We did that. Use someone else's iOS device. We did that. And use an iOS device at an Apple store. We did that as well. And if you click continue on any of these, it gives you the step-by-step -step instructions of what we just did previously. So I'm gonna choose back here. Same thing with use someone else's iOS. We'll do back, use an iOS at an Apple store. Notice it says use an iPhone or an iPad, follow the same steps. Apple support, scroll down to support tools and I'll do back. So if you can't use any of these three options, there's this link down at the bottom that says can't use, can't use any of these options, ironically enough. So I'm gonna click on that link and it says without an Apple device, you will need to wait to reset your password. There's even a link here that says learn about the wait time, but notice they reiterate the easiest, fastest way to reset is from an Apple device, blah, blah, blah. It may take several days or more to be able to reset your password. So I've seen it as quick as two days and as long as seven or eight days. It's, it can be really annoying. So if I click on this link here about wait time, and I'll link this down in the description. Here it talks about account recovery. They'll send you an email within 72 hours and it can be a headache. Let's go back. I can either choose cancel or continue anyways. I'm gonna do continue anyway. And it's gonna give us one last chance. It says, hey, do you wanna send a code to this trusted phone number? And I'm gonna be like, well, maybe I changed phone numbers or this isn't even my telephone number anymore. So I'm gonna choose can't use this number. And then it's gonna say, oh, well, I'm gonna send a code to your email address. Well, I don't know my email password because this is my Apple ID and I don't know the password for my Apple ID. So I can't use this email address. And then it says, okay, well, enter a phone number where we can reach you. So this is where if you have a new phone number or your brother, sister, mom, dad, spouse, whomever it may be, you need to put their phone number in here so that you can be contacted in some way, shape, or form. So I'll put my phone number here and I'm gonna go ahead and choose continue. And that's right, this phone number has been used too many times, <sighs> I swear. That's why I created a Google Voice number. So let's type that one in instead. So I'm gonna choose continue for a text message. Now Google Voice, that's gonna come to an email and Oh, that's, that's beyond this scope of this, uh, of this training video. But nonetheless, that you would put a cell phone number in here. They're going to text or call you. So now I have this code from Google Voice. I'm going to type in 414-101. Choose continue. And what it does is they are going to say thank you. We'll send you an update soon. We're going to evaluate your information. Now, they're going to send me an email. So if I actually go out to iCloud.com and I sign in with the email here, I'm not quite sure which password we're on. I think we're on that, that Henry2 here, but let's find out. Let's copy that. Let's go to joel.fell.icloud.com. We're gonna continue with password, sign in. Yep, allow 253-326. Trust. Now, if I look at the email here, every time the Apple ID password got updated, it actually sent you an email to that email address letting you know that the password was updated. So forgot to mention that earlier, but that's just for reference. But coming back to the email or to this screen here that will send you an update, 
So this time tomorrow, they're gonna send me an email saying, I either need more information, can you verify this email address, can you verify this phone number, can you verify your address, whatever it may be. And I have seen it where if you can't verify all of that information, you are not gonna be able to get into this Apple ID. It's completely locked out and you're not gonna get it. That's why it's so important to have a trusted device associated with your Apple ID that you can receive messages on or have your cell phone linked to it so that you can get text messages or phone calls or even make a Google voice number so that you can have a third alternative to have uh, a trusted device associated with your Apple ID. Now, if you don't wanna to get to this point where you have to do this account recovery and wait a whole bunch of days, I highly, highly recommend that you create a recovery account, add a person to be a recovery account on your Apple ID. And what that allows uh, you to do is, is you're giving someone that you know brother, sister, mom, dad, husband, wife, whomever it may be, you're giving them access to your account so that they can help you and get a special code to reset your password for you. And if we look at that really quick, if I go to the settings on the iPhone and go to my Apple ID at the top and choose sign in and security, I'll scroll down and there's this option for account recovery. This is what you would wanna set up and add a recovery contact. That way if you do get locked out of your Apple ID and you get locked out of all of your devices, you have whoever you designate this person as, they can actually get a special password to unlock it for you and it makes life so much easier. Same thing on the computer, if I go to the Apple system settings, Go to your Apple ID at the top, choose sign in and security, and you have the same account recovery option here. So if you wanna learn more about that, click on this link below and check out that video. I would highly recommend that as well. So those are pretty much all of the options that you have available to reset the password for your Apple ID. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead, hit that like button down below. If you think this will help someone else, click that share button as well. If you wanna support this channel, hit that thanks button below. And if you wanna learn something new, hit that subscribe, tap that little bell, and we'll see you next time.